if you think the real thrills are happening in backyards, alleyways, and goat grazing fields across India, where a tribe of scary bulls has decided that gravity is just a persuasive suggestion, you are right. The red junk piles and screw lawnmower engines. Pinch bicycle wheels and scavenge polythene rice sacks. Ishmael, who was locally known for his inventions, had been working every night for the last two years on his dream helicopter. The inventor taught himself the basics of aeronautical engineering using YouTube and over two years built a single seater helicopter using a car engine and scrap metal. This video shows Ishmael's miniature white helicopter preparing to take off in the middle of a field when the rear rotor blade took off, hitting the inventor. Ishmael wanted to build affordable helicopters and use them for rescue operations during natural disasters. Unfortunately, it didn't end well for him. But maybe if he had a helmet, he would have survived. What do you think? Comment down below. Approach this aircraft as you might approach a street dog. Cautiously, admiringly, and prepared to sprint. The wings and tail plane are enclosed not in titanium, nor in aluminium foil, but in polythene grain sacks that once carried rice and now carry the dreams of the pilot. A skeleton frame of angle iron provides the bony outline. Toddler bike's tires form the landing gear. Power is delivered by a lawnmower engine that left its mowing gig to pursue higher dreams, literally. The seat, a repurposed paint bucket riveted to the frame. The control stick is rumored to be a recycled chair leg, bent by hand and hammered until it looked vaguely aerodynamic, like Thor's hammer after a nasty divorce. Altitude equals temperature drop, and the hypothermia arrives faster than the craft's top speed. Listen carefully and you'll hear a banshee scream. Built around a steel conduit skeleton that probably began life as a scuffle pipe, a moody chainsaw motor that is retrofitted to spin a wary propeller. The pedal's helmet appears like it was purchased before the seat or the brake lever. Considering he launches from a dusty monsoon eroded strip and climbs on pure nerve. Because the propeller sits behind him, each flight doubles as a spa grade neck massage. Landing a drag stick. An emergency prayer rod. <laughs> Neighbors swear that they see it hop more than fly, which the creator counters by declaring, hopes are flights that lack marketing budgets. <laughs> if a cafe racer eloped with a hang glider, the rebellious offspring would be this metal tubing masterpiece. The stove fuselage skin, just open sky, and infinitely loop yoke hints at endless memories. Perched on a seat hardly broader than a dosa pan, the pilot inhales wind gusts like expression shots. No backrest means permanent pilot's posture. The engine sits behind, rowing host exhaust to his ears, perfect for middle flight oil checks or roasting peanuts. 
Well, some folks love cycling. This champ married it. From a distance, the machine looks like a Tour de France dropout tried cosplaying as a soap with camel. Wooden spurs form the fuselage. He must have raided every neighborhood carpentry shop scrap bin. Power? A salvaged 125cc motorcycle engine bolted to the tail, spinning a paddle prop propeller that seems like it was carved with a kitchen knife. The pilot, clad in chill zone, slippers, jeans, and a shirt flapping like prayer flags, treating safety harnesses as optional accessories. With the wind as autopilot, he can allegedly choke the engine mid-air, let thermals carry him like a leaf, and rely in time for touchdown. The locals cheer, the cows flee, and the inventor grins like he's just discovered Wi-Fi on Mars. That's Air India too, handborn in the desert courtyard by a fifth grade dropout welding more ambition than entire aerospace committee. After two prototypes flamed out, one literally, he poured in 15 rupees into version 3. Finally, the peace de resistance for those who believe runaways are for cowards. Armed with gradle of steel tubing looped around torso and shoulders, this pilot wears his aircraft like a cast accessory. After words of crooked wing spurs, toddler tires, and prop cowlicks, two truths remain. Number one. The human desire to fly is stronger than reason, regulation, or common sense. Number two, India's jagodad mentality is a force of nature. Give it broomsticks and a wish, and it will attempt to orbit. <laughs> <laughs>